hi guys welcome back to my channel you are here with yes i'm her i miss you guys so much so today i'm just gonna jump straight in excuse my voice it may sound weird because i've been i went to the dentist today i had to get a crown prep so it kind of got me talking kind of funny not sure what happened but my tongue is a little bit swollen well a little sore so it's kind of hard for me to talk but i'm gonna make it through it but i was just getting on here you know this is wisdom wednesdays welcome to wisdom wednesdays to those that to those are you <laughs> i can't even get my words out so those of you who are new to my channel i do affirmations monday tuesday thursday friday saturday sunday and on wednesday i do wisdom wednesdays so my wisdom wednesday basically um are informative messages that i give to those who it resonates with so today, um, I was led to get on here and I was led to get on here and share my Wisdom Wednesday message. And this message is basically talking to, I'm hearing and I'm feeling like it's a large amount of people. I have a large amount of people who are struggling with manifesting who are struggling with um, speaking things into existence. And me feeling this pain in my tongue kind of um, gives me clarification because it's hard for me to speak. So with me saying that, I know for sure I have a large amount of people who's having a hard time speaking things into existence because they really want to see it. Some people just want to see it happen, and it really don't work like that. It you will you will eventually see it, but you first have to you first have to see it in your mind, and then you have to speak it out of your mouth, and then you will see it in your reality. So I'm I'm just getting on here to say, go within whoever this is for. Go within, and when I say go within, I mean get some time by yourself with no one around no distraction no noise no phone no nothing and just sit in solidarity solitude sorry and really just think about all the things that you want take that time of peace to think about all the things that you want all the things that you dream of having think of those things regardless if you believe you can have it or not think of those things and when you sit in that quiet space and think of those things, start to believe that you already have them. Start to believe you already have them. And once you start to believe you already have them, that's a sign that you trust in them. the most high, you trust in the universe. You're trusting that these things will eventually come to you. Now, when you set your mind up that way, then it's easier for you to manifest. It's easier for you to create. It's easier for you to focus in on the things that you want and not focus on the things that you do not have. Okay? So, it takes practice. It takes patience. And it takes dedication. You first have to see it in your mind. Then you speak it. Then you read. Then you then you bring it into your reality. But let's not forget you have to have trust. You have to trust in the most high. You have to trust in whoever it is that you believe in. You have to trust that that person or that thing or whatever it is you believe in that energy will bring these things to you because if you have that much trust in whatever you believe in then you should be able to trust that they will be able to um bring these things into your reality and and you know help you manifest help you believe in the things that you know you're supposed to have so once you go within and get that clarity get that 
get that confirmation, get that wisdom, get that, that peace of mind and everything like that. Then you want to move forward to focusing in on it, speaking it into existence, speaking it. You can start off slow. You can start off by the things that you do see, see in your mind. You can start out by repeating those things 10 times every day. And once you do that, you're starting to reprogram your mind to believe that you already have it. That's that's a form of taking that's a form of um, taking inspired action, turning visions into realities. That's a form of doing that. That's a form of creativity. That's a form of being focused in on what you want. That's a form of making things happen. That's a form of communicating with the universe like, yes, I have these things. Okay? Because if you know you have it, you're going to receive it. If you know you don't have it, you're not going to receive it. It's so simple. Once you manifest the things that you want in your life, or once you start manifesting, and you start begin start being good at what you're manifesting, then you'll get into that place of happiness celebration then you'll start to be able to manifest everything you'll be able to manifest the type of people you want around you not even just material things tangible things as well you'll be able to manifest your circles your friends you'll be able to manifest whoever and whatever it is you want it's not a certain thing that you can manifest you can manifest whatever it is your heart desire you just have to feed your brain every single day. You have to remove distractions. Anything that's not that's not building you up or lifting you up, you have to remove those things from yours, from your mindset, from your space, from your phone, your TV, social media. You have to really cleanse and restart. You really have to cleanse and restore. Once you cleanse and restore, then you start to, then you start to see, then you start to see patterns, because everything is a pattern. Everything is a pattern. You start watching for signs and symbols, and seeing things, because your mind is on a whole nother level. Your mind is in a whole nother different realm. You're on a whole different vibration. When you're manifesting, you're on a total different vibration. You see the world in a different way. Then you will be. Then, then you will. You would know that you're being guided. Your your thoughts will be guided. Your your movement would be guided. The things that you choose to do, the people you choose to be around, will be guided. You will get signs and symbols on who you should remove and who you should keep. Then you will be brave enough to be able to walk into the unknown. Believe that whatever you're doing is for your highest good. Believe that whatever you're doing is meant to happen for you and not to you. You will discover the light within yourself and it's just going to make you feel so happy. So and whoever this is for, like, I know it, make it, it could be a little challenging, but you can do it. You have a strong mind. It's just what you choose to focus in on. It's just what you choose to use it for. Your mind is phenomenal. It's a phenomenal organ. And once you take control of your mind, you take control of your world. And I had I've learned that like for real. My mind has not always been this way. I've had times where, well, not even just times, I had to reprogram my mind from the way I was thinking because my my thoughts wasn't so clear. And I'll say that for another video. But I can I have came a long way. And it's not not even gonna stunt. I'm not even gonna sit here and hold you. But it's not even easy. It's not easy at all. 
You just got to be focused. You got to be determined. You got to know this is what you want and you will not settle for less. You would not allow anybody to come in and disturb what you are working on, what you are doing. Because especially if it's all positive and it's all about raising your vibration, raising yourself, changing your mindset. Seeing the world in a whole total different way. Once you set your mind up to do that, you're going to know life without a shadow of a doubt your purpose. That's when you learn what your purpose is in life. When you take that time to change your mindset and you start to manifest. You start to create. You start to uplift and vibrate on another type of level. And that's my main reason of kind of like changing my channel from you know just different videos to more um growth i want to say um raising your I, I basically my channel is about raising your vibration basically because manifesting is basically raising your vibration that's what my channel is about because that's what i'm about like everything on my channel is what i'm about so as i grow you see me grow. Who's to say that I'm going to still be doing affirmation videos? My, I'm, I don't know what my future holds. But, but as long as I continue to elevate, go within, get clarity, and manifest, I'm going to create. I'm going to have different ideas on what I want to do to help everybody that's listening to me. Everybody that takes heed in what I'm sharing because I promise you this this stuff that I'm sharing every single day is um is amazing it's amazing when you rewire your brain to never quit so whoever this is for please <clears throat> Begin. Begin to manifest. Try. Even if you can just do it a few... Just just try it a few minutes every day. Because if you want something bad enough, you're going to work for it. You're going to work for it. So try to begin and be bold about it. Be bold with yourself. You may have people around you that's discouraging like, Oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. That's when you remove them, people. That's the time to remove them. That is just the universe and the most high showing you, look, this person ain't going where you're going. It's going to be hard. You're going to have to pray about it. But you're not going to be able to take them where you're going if, they keep, if, if, if that's what they're going to be doing. Being discouraging and negative. Because you could do whatever it is your heart, your mind um, leads you to doing. Because let me tell you. If you are led to watching videos like this, you have a higher purpose in life. You have a higher purpose in life and everybody can go where you're going. It's the sad truth. Everybody can go where you're going, Pooh. So if you start today, and as simple as, as simple as writing down what you writing down your hearts and desires, what is it that you want? What is it that you want to do in life? What is it? Write that down. And then, just start with the first thing. Speak that 10 times a day. For well, Let me see. For 21 days. Speak that, the first one, for 21 days, 10 times. Watch how it change your mindset. And once you do that, then you're going to work on the second thing it is you want to do you're going to speak that 10 times a day for 21 days and so on and so forth basically you're going to be reprogramming yourself you're going to be reprogramming yourself and as you're doing these things your language is going to change your 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 conversations is going to change people are going to be looking at you like 
Oh yeah, you tweaking. They gonna say you tweaking. You tripping. What you talking about? They not gonna understand your language. <laughs> you gonna be speaking another language and it's okay. When they start being negative, that's that's the time to delete and remove. It's time to delete and remove. Okay? Because habits can keep you alive or it can kill you. I'm going to let that sit there for a second. When I say habits can keep you alive or it can kill you, that's facts on top of facts. Because if you continue to be around people that's not trying to grow, guess what? It's going to be hard for you to grow, Pooh. If you continue to be around people that's doing negative shit every day, all day, guess what? You're going to get into negative shit all day, every day. Excuse my language, but I just got to be 100 but if you if you change your surroundings, you you change the way you look at life. You look at it as if things is not happening to you, it's happening for you. You want to appreciate life so much more. A lot of times people with negative mindsets about life or about things that's happening in, in their life feels like somebody owed them something. When you start feeling like somebody owe you something, that's a problem within. Because it's so it's 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 I understand that some people go through certain things in it in life when they a child and it bring them into their adulthood and then it could be toxic. I understand that one hundred percent. But the most high give us a choice. We either either can go left or we can go right. We can stay in our slumber or we can party on the beach. <laughs> but no, seriously, we can either stay in our slumber or we can elevate to the next level. We can break that curse. We can break that generational curse and prove people who didn't believe in us, people who didn't lead us in the right direction, people who doubted us. We could prove them wrong simply by changing, by going right and not left. So choose your happiness. Choose your happiness. Don't be discouraged if you feel like it's hard for you to wrap your mind around manifesting or anything like that. Don't feel discouraged because it don't happen overnight. It's a it's an everyday thing. This is a lifestyle. This not a race. This is a lifestyle. This is something your your mind, your body, and your soul has to get used to. It's like starting over as a baby and you pouring into yourself the things, the healthy stuff. And when your mind starts to go left and think negative, then you bring it back and you say, the devil is a lie. I believe you. I trust you, God. Soon as your mind go left and start thinking negative, you you want to instantly say, the devil is a lie. I believe you and trust you, God. So to say that I was at the dentist today and it was so heartbreaking because I was getting my, my crown prep and the doctor had her assistant helping her. So I, I had my headphones on, but part sometimes I stop it, you know, just to, you know, clear my mind or whatever. But at this particular time when my headphones were stopped, paused rather, I heard the assistant say, I heard the assistant say, oh my God, I need to go to church. I really need to go to church. She was like, I need to go to church because I be having negative thoughts. 
And the reason why it was heartbreaking to me is because I like to intervene. I like to get, I like to, I like to speak when I need to speak. And I couldn't speak because they had all this stuff in my mouth. I was so heartbroken, heartbroken. And then even when I was done, I still couldn't say nothing because my mouth was numb. My tongue felt swollen. I really couldn't speak. But I was just, I, I, I said, you know what? This is real. Like, I, don't have a, I, I never really heard nobody say that, like, in real life. Like, I need to go to church. I'm having negative, I'm, I'm, ha I'm having negative thoughts. Like, I, I felt that. I was like, wow, like, man. Only if she knew she could change that. She could change it. She could work on it. Only if she knew it, just a couple powerful words. I believe you, I trust you, God. The devil is a lie. Only if she knew that. Because she's she want to go to church so she can get some inspiration, some, some motivation, some encouragement. But the fact that I couldn't be those encouraging words for her. I was so sad. I was just like, wow. And so that 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 really, you know, lets me know a lot of people is dealing with different mental things that's stopping them from from moving forward in the things that they want to do. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. You can do it. Don't allow the devil to play in your head and tell you what you can't do. Don't allow those negative thoughts to creep in. And they creep in, creep them out. Do not allow disrespect. Do not allow people. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the a lot of reasons why um, some of you guys are having a hard time manifesting is because of boundaries. People that's in your people that's in your space, in your circle. You allowing them to break boundaries. You allowing them to walk all over you, say whatever to you, downplay you, make you feel like you ain't nothing, make you feel like whatever whatever you trying to do ain't going to work. You allowing disrespect. You cannot allow disrespect. You cannot allow people to disrespect you and cross boundaries. Set your boundaries. Set your boundaries today. Set your boundaries today. Allow yourself to be a beginner because no one starts being no one starts off being excellent. No one starts off being excellent. Anybody you watching or listen to, even myself, I didn't start off excellent. I had to crawl before I walk. And I'm still learning, I'm still growing, and I'm still, I'm gonna keep on pushing, I'm gonna keep on elevating. It's my lifestyle. I have to. So be patient with your new self. Be patient with your new self. Because I promise you, when it's all said and done, you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be in a positive mental attitude. You're going to have a positive mental attitude about everything that you are doing, everything in life. You're going to have a positive mental attitude. You're going to have an optimistic disposition in every situation that you find yourself into. I remember when, when negative thoughts used to creep up. I didn't know how to tackle them at the time. But over time, I've learned how to. You stop them right at the door. Stop it right at the door. Don't even entertain it. Because I'm telling you, in the next three months, if you continue to do this, if you continue to believe in yourself, believe that you can do it, believe that you can manifest, in the next three months, I promise you, you're going to have divine blessings. You just have to trust it. You have to believe it. You're going to have divine blessings. They're just going to start falling. They're just going to start coming in like this water you hear. It's going to start just coming in. But I'm not going to hold you all too long. I just wanted to get on here and share that message. I felt like someone needed to hear that. Someone needed to hear that. And 
I'm glad I was able to share it. So till then, don't stop manifesting. Don't stop affirming. And keep going. The next three months is filled with blessings. Your mindset is going to change. You're going to have an optimi optimistic disposition in every situation. Do it. Be bold. 